I've got a new stash for my colored pencils, and I can't wait to show you guys. So stick around. Hello, colorists. Welcome to Pencil Stash, a weekly show all about coloring. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to get all the new content, and be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying my videos. Hello colorists, as many of you know in my last video, I've been struggling with my current pencil stash setup, meaning the way that I store my slightly ridiculous number of colored pencils, uh, which is in these two kitchen utensil drawer organizers from Target. Now they've served me well for a really long time, but I now have at least 300 plus pencils crammed into these, along with all my accessories like my Posca pens, my blenders, my fine liners, everything is crammed in here. And from a practical standpoint, it's becoming very difficult to actually use these while I color because of their size and the fact that they are just bursting to the brim. They're really kind of too large to really spread out both trays next to me while I'm coloring. And then when I'm looking for a particular pencil, the cubbies themselves are rather narrow. So I have to pull out the whole cluster and go through them each time to find the ones that I'm looking for. So long story short, I think I've outgrown these and have been in the market for something else. So I actually put it to you guys last week for suggestions, and many of you recommended one of these pencil books, which I actually already had. They're kind of a zippered compartment with these kind of neat fold-out decks uh, with little loops to hold your pencils in. Uh, so like I said, I already had this one, and it's actually where I keep my extra pencils. Yes, I have extra pencils besides the ones that I have in my current pencil stash. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit. I already have the Prismacolor Premier set of 150 pencils, and I love it. Um, but earlier in the year, the set was on super, super sale on Amazon. So I bought a second set to have backup pencils when my originals get too short to use, which is quite often, actually. It's really expensive to replace them open stock. It's actually a lot cheaper to just get the set. So I keep those extra pencils in this book. So in terms of using this book or another larger one like it, I really like the idea of it. It sounds like it would work perfectly and keep everything organized. But with my personality, this book, when I used it originally, kind of drove me crazy. Namely, putting the pencils back into the book every time where they were supposed to go. It kind of turned into a chore. Because after I color, it's a bit of a hassle to put them back in here nicely Plus, you can tell I'm a bit OCD with keeping my pencils in kind of color categories. So I would have to make sure that the pencils go back into the right order, the right color category every single time, which is a bit too crazy. So I do like these books. I'm just going to keep using it for my extra pencils. So what did I end up getting? Now, I went to my local Michaels store, which is a craft store that we have here in Chicago. I'm not sure if they have Michaels where you live, um, but it's just a craft store, huge, huge craft store. And I roamed up and down the aisles looking at all their storage options. And I finally came upon this. Now, this main large compartment, it's just a clear plastic storage container with a lid that kind of clamps down. And when you take that lid off, it reveals this little caddy that kind of sits on top, uh, complete with compartments that I thought would be perfect for all of my accessory supplies. Again, those, those Posca pens, the blenders, all that good stuff. Then inside the bin, are smaller kind of nestled storage bins. They're the perfect length for pencils and they're designed to rest within one another. So I can kind of stack these on top. Now these things were sold separately in packs of three. So I got three packs in three different colors and I thought they would be perfect for holding all of my pencil categories. And I haven't really planned it out yet, but long-term I kind of plan on putting my pencil colors in specific colors color bins so that I can know kind of at a glance when they're in the storage bin, which ones to pull out, you know, which ones contain each color category. But that's a kind of a lot at the moment. I don't even know if I like them yet. So I'm still kind of testing it all out. 
And then all of my accessory supplies can live here in this little caddy. And it's a great excuse as well to clean out some supplies that I either don't want anymore or that I don't need super handy and can find another home for. Now, the idea here is that when I color, I can take out individual bins or have just a few bins out at a time and super accessible without taking up too much space on my desk. Or I can even kind of go through these and pull out individual pencils and then put them into the white tray uh, that I kind of use as my kind of current page pencils to draw from. Again, I still think that this system will work a lot better even in that case. All right, so my pencils are in the bins, my supplies are in the little caddy thing. Now we have to put them all back in here. And like I said, they kind of nestle inside one another, so I'll stack them three tall by three wide, all back into the bin. Then the caddy goes on top. Uh-oh, all right, caddy is not sitting flush. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's not too bad, it's only sitting up about maybe like half an inch off of the lip, um, but it does keep the lid from actually closing on top. But you know what? I can totally live with that. I'm okay with that. My pencils don't really travel anywhere. They just sort of stay at my desk. So I think this still works for me despite the fact that I cannot put the lid back on. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys the best part. These storage systems were all 50% off. So I got all of these things for under 20 bucks. I, I think it was actually like maybe 16 or 17 actually all said and done. So not too shabby. So I'm going to be using this system and kind of reporting on it as I go um, kind of over the next couple of weeks in a uh, coming video. So just in case you guys are in similar situations and need a new pencil stash too. So again, if you guys have anything that you think works super, super well, let me know down in the comments below. I love, love to hear what you guys are using. And remember, like and subscribe, and I will see you all next week with a regularly scheduled coloring page. Ciao!